Good morning to the sort of welcome to the 24th meeting in 2024 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. I'd like to remind everyone present to please switch off or put to silent their mobile phones and other electronic devices. The first item of business is a declaration of interests in accordance with Section 3 of the Code of Conduct. I invite Daniel Johnson, MSP, to declare any interests relevant to the remit of the committee. Uh, thank you very much, Convener. First of all, thank you uh, for your welcome to the committee. In terms of my uh, register of interest, I am a company director uh, and I'm the sole, uh, director and sole shareholder of a, 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 a limited company with retail interests. Okay, uh, thank you very much for that, Daniel. Uh, and generally, once again, welcome to the committee. Um, before we move to the next item on the agenda, I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the committee to thank Faisal Chowdhury, MSP, uh, for his contribution to the committee over the last number of months, and uh, I think we'd like to wish him all the very best for the future. The second item of business is to decide whether to take items 6, 7, 8 and 9 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yeah. And our agenda item number 3, we're considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft vehicle emissions trading schemes, Amendment Order 2024, and the draft plant health import inspection fees, Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations 2024. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yeah. And agenda item number four, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. No points have been raised on SSIs 2024, 216, 218, 219, 220 and 225. Right. Tim. Uh, yeah, convener, it's just to draw to the attention of the uh, committee, just in terms of 218, um, whilst I've got no problem with the SSI as it stands, there is a 62.5% increase in cost from 5 million to 8 million being predicted. And I just wondered whether that was worth flagging to the League Committee. Whilst that's spread over a board brace, I do think it's important we look at that for those that want, ultimately those who have to pay it. Thank you. Okay, uh, no problem. Um, is everyone content that we raise that with the League Committee? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, notwithstanding that, does the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. And our agenda item number five, we are considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2024-211. Is the committee content with this instrument? Thank you. And that now concludes the public part of the meeting and I move the committee into private.